Sweet. So we are back. And you all did the first one. If you missed this, this is in a playlist. If you missed the first video, it's in a playlist. You can find it in the playlist somehow. Todd McLeod. And I guess this will be Learn to Code website. And, uh, and the first thing, next thing we're going to do is instead of having instead of having our text right there in the print line, we're going to take that out of there. And we're going to work with a variable. And so the variable we're going to use is x, and then we colon equal, and then we put that there. That creates a variable. What is a variable? A variable is a place where we store a value, and then we can get to that value later. And we can change what is stored in that variable. right? And so now if I print this out, what is stored in x? I run it. Right, James Bond still prints because I've taken the value James Bond, I've stored it in the variable x, and now I said print out what's in x. I'm printing out the value of what's in x. Okay, and so I want you to take your name and assign it to a variable, and then put put that variable in a print statement and print out your name by asking it to print the value of that variable. And we're using the short declaration operator. So this little colon equals means take this here and, uh, and assign it to that variable, right? We're declaring this variable and we're assigning a value. It's called initializing a variable. We use the short declaration operator to, to do that. It also looks like the Punisher, right, from that Marvel cartoon series, or it looks like a gopher, which is why the gopher is the mascot of the Go programming language, because that's what we use I mean, maybe one of the reasons. That's what we use for the short for, for declaring and assigning a value. So go ahead and do that one, and we'll keep doing this in steps. There's another video after this one in this playlist.